Project Pandora. In 1953, the Russians began to bombard the U.S. Embassy in Moscow with electromagnetic radiation in the microwave spectrum, but the fact was kept secret from the embassy employees. U.S. Ambassador Stossel contracted a blood disease, bleeding eyes, nausea, and eventually lymphoma. He and other employees eventually died as a result of the microwave attacks. Dr. Henry Kissinger sent a secret memo giving hazard pay to embassy personnel in the 1970s. Before the attacks, the USSR had met with the U.S. to try to head off an arms race in electromagnetic weapons, but were refused. In retaliation, they began microwaving the U.S. Embassy. It is possible that the U.S. government took advantage of the situation and used the Embassy staff as microwave guinea pigs. The Department of Defense's Advanced Research Projects Agency, ARPA, set up a lab at Walter Reed Army Institute of Research and participated in Project Pandora. Scientists began zapping monkeys to study the biological effects of highly concentrated microwave frequencies. Similar studies were conducted at the VA Hospital in Kansas City, University of Rochester, Brooks Air Force Base, Johns Hopkins, MIT, the MITRE Corporation, University of Pennsylvania, and other domestic and foreign labs. In one study, Dr. Jose Delgado experimented on four human subjects using radio waves, reporting they experienced different emotions, sensations, and colored visions. Delgado stated that these weapons were, quote, more dangerous than atomic destruction. With knowledge of the brain, he said, we may transform, we may shape, direct, roboticize man. I think the great danger of the future is that we will have roboticized human beings who are not aware that they have been roboticized." Unquote. Dr. Delgado was in fact responsible for the development of a brain transponder that was used to roboticize human subjects. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. Five, four, three, two, one. dead silence of the morning at 5.29.45 Mountain War Time, the Jornada del Muerto was bathed in an intense flash of a light that man had only seen from the stars. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. 